we're looking to replace car trips with bike trips and making it as easy as possible. We're going to be talking about the minimum versus the maximum flat repair kit, specifically for e-bikes, but this could be for any type of city biking. The idea of changing a flat or repairing something on the side of the road or trail is really daunting to some people and yet exhilarating to others. No matter where you are on that spectrum, today we're going to be talking about the basic things I think you should be carrying, no matter if you never intend to fix a flat or repair something on your bike, to being MacGyver on your bike where you want to be able to fix anything that comes your way. I do want to note that it's okay if you never want to change a flat tire. And I want to make this point clear because a lot of people think because I'm a master bike mechanic that I want to fix everything all the time. And to be honest, if I get a flat on my large cargo bike with my kids on board and it's a rear flat or I have a major mechanical, I'm going to be phoning a friend and that's okay. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Arlie, aka Bike Shop Girl. We're in my new office studio space and I have my microphone so close to me because just me, a workbench, and my desk right now. So everything is echoing. So I apologize. I'm trying to make the audio as best as I can right now. Let's start with the minimum setup. This is the setup anybody that goes city biking or away from their house should carry, in my personal opinion. First, gloves. I'm always going to start off with gloves because no one wants dirty hands. Second is a small pump that can add air to your tires. For pumps, I have a lot of strong opinions about pumps, but my go-to because it just works really well and has a lot of replacement parts, is the Topeak Morph series. Specifically, either the Mini Morph because it's smaller or the Digital Morph. I like it because these little hand pumps turn into a small floor pump, which makes adding air on the side of the road much faster and more efficient. Third is a multi-tool. This is the turn tool. I do work for Turn, but I used this tool long before working for them. And I just love how compact it is, yet how many things it has on it. The multi-tool is definitely something you don't have to start off with, but I do recommend carrying it. Fourth, and maybe the most important, is to have a backup plan. Maybe that's a friend that knows that you commute or you're out on a ride. Maybe it's just Uber and you lock up your bike. All those things are fine. Just make sure you have a plan. The pump and only a pump, no tire levers, no replacement tube, is because I run slime in all of my city bike tubes. This is a sealant that runs inside the tube. When I get a puncture, it can help seal the puncture. So I'm gonna, using my gloves, pull whatever's in my tire out if I can, move that hole, to the bottom so the sealant can run on top of it, add air, and as long as it's not a big hole, it will cause it to clog. This can allow me to get home. I've had some tubes and tires have so many holes that the sealant clogged that I just didn't even know about, and I just pumped up my tires and kept rolling. The pump can also come in handy if I forgot to pump up my bike tires before I left, and now I'm far away from home. This is a big deal if you're on a heavier e-bike or cargo bike with kids. You definitely don't want to be running underinflated tires because one, it's going to kill your battery life, but two, you might get a pinch flat. So we want to make sure that you have properly inflated tires. I've talked about this a lot, and I'll link to another video below. Now, I keep all of those things in a little pouch. This is um, from Green Guru made out of old tubes. I also have like dop kits and things that I use. Whatever you like aesthetically, just know it might get dirty. And then I keep it in my backpack or pannier 
always ready to go. Now, that was my minimum setup. Let's talk about my maximum MacGyver setup. When we talk about maximum setup, this is sometimes what people carry every day. Personally, as a mom of two young kids, I don't always have the luxury or time to be able to fix something on the side of the road or trail. But if I'm going to an event, if I'm in charge of all of our demo bikes, if I'm hosting a group ride or riding with my family, I am taking the MacGyver setup. First thing, always gloves. Pump, multi-tool, inside of it has a patch kit. If I ran out of these patches, I would add more. I'm gonna carry a tube. If I'm at an event, I'm gonna make sure I have a tube that covers every type of bike at my demo event. If I'm doing a group ride, I'm gonna make sure I have the main sizes covered. And then if I'm riding with my family, I've started to stick a tube on each of my kids' bikes just in a plastic bag zip tied to it. So if I need it, it's there, but I'm not having to carry it in my own setup all the time. I also carry a business card because, well, it's helpful to have a business card to hand to people, but if I ever get a puncture in a tire that's too big, I can actually boot the tire and kind of cover up that hole so the tube doesn't push through. There's a $20 bill because, well, sometimes you need cash. A ratchet multi-tool with longer Allens. This specific one is from Topeak. I have tried a lot of them and I've come back to this one because it has all the things I need. It does not have a torque wrench, which I think is okay for on the side repair. But I love that these little bits are held in with a magnet. I have other setups that I've tried and I'm always losing those bits on the side of the road or in an event because they just fall out and then they're gone. So I love this little magnetic setup and how clean it is when it's all folded up together. And then I have a singular batten strap, which I use to strap down things. I've been at events where I have to carry things that I didn't expect, and it's helpful to be able to strap it to my bag or my bike. A headlight and a tail light. This is in case I'm in the dark or under a bike and it's dark under the tent. I can turn on my headlight and the tail lights in case my lights go out or I'm stuck somewhere not safe. It's worth mentioning both of these are battery powered, not rechargeable. And I have the batteries in there flipped so that they can't accidentally turn on in my bag and then be dead when I need them. So that was my minimum and maximum MacGyver setup. I've kind of fine tuned and tried different things over the years. And this is where I've come back to. If I'm working events where there's not gonna be anybody bringing their own tools, you know, we're all flying in, we're all traveling in. The one thing I do add that I didn't mention is a small adjustable crescent wrench. That's just because some bolts on our bikes are really big, but that's unique. I don't think most people need to carry that, but maybe you really wanna go MacGyver on us. The other really important thing for my MacGyver setup is that I can carry it on board any airline. There's no CO2, there's no knives, there's nothing sharp, but honestly, I've found that most places I can find scissors or a knife or something if I need them. And being able to carry all this on board means I don't have to worry about it being lost in luggage and all those things. So that was another key part of my MacGyver setup. Um, I also have two really young kids, so I just don't carry pocket knives or anything like that. Those were my setups. I'm going to put some links below to get you started if you want to learn how to fix a flat tire, if you want to learn some other basic maintenance things to hopefully help you 
not get a mechanical on the side of the road or trail. And I would love to hear from you. What are you carrying every day on your bike? Let me know in the comments below. You can find links to everything I mentioned below. And until next time, as always, stay well, stay good. And remember, get on your bike and leave the car at home when you can. Peace.